The really tough real estate market means that for a lot of people, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of options out there. And so I always love finding stories where people have managed to hack the system and create a great head start for themselves in life. And that is exactly the case with this next incredible man that we're about to meet, who together with his father, DIY'd an amazing tiny house. Hey Jai, how's it going mate? Hey mate, good to meet you. It's great to meet you and this is a seriously cool tiny house you've built. Thank you. So what was it that inspired you to build a tiny home? Uh, I always wanted to get in the housing market. I've always been interested in renovating and building as my dad's a carpenter. So for years I've always wanted to have my own piece of real estate and with the house prices I was, I was like I'm not getting in there unfortunately. So for me I was looking at granny flats and I couldn't find any DA approved, like I couldn't get DA approved whatsoever. So I decided to have a look on YouTube and see what other alternatives were and then come across you guys. Awesome. And um, we'll search on for hours online through all your videos and we found a few that we really liked the setups and we're like, we could give this a go. So I pitched it to my parents and see if we could have it on their land and they were a bit iffy at the start and then they went, you know what, we want to help you, let's do it. That is so cool. And it's so special that you've built this together with your father as well. Yeah, it was quite a special project to be able to work side by side and have that memory together. We've been doing their house for about 13 years now. So all my weekends growing up were either on the boat or were renovating. So to jump into my own project was amazing. Definitely. And being parked up here on your parents' property as well, it's a great location, isn't it? Yeah, it's so central. We've got the beach five minutes that way and we've got the shops five minutes that way. So what more could you ask? Cannot complain about that. Yeah. So building this home with your dad, what was that process like? Uh, it was long. We only went on weekends. Any spare time we had, we put into this. We really wanted to keep uh, have a life still, so we did it paycheck to paycheck. I really wanted to still have fun with friends as well as build a foundation for further on in life. I yeah. built the tiny as a stepping stone to get into my, a family home one day. So to be able to do that, each paycheck I put away a certain amount and bought certain bits. So one week I'd buy bits for the kitchen, the next week I'd buy the flooring. And you must have been able to learn a lot in that process as well. I did, it was amazing to get on the tools. Um, I've always worked alongside him doing like trade work, but I've never got into the intricate things and got really crafty. It's something I'll always cherish. I got to build it with my father and living alongside my family is amazing and I can get to stay in the area where all my friends are and be able to still live the lifestyle I want. That proximity to family is just so special and I just think this multi-generational kind of living is something we need to be looking at as a more serious option here. Exactly, it's amazing to be able to live still at home but not at home. To be able to help pay off a mortgage that's a family, like my family's, instead of someone else's. I really yeah. didn't want to go pay rent to somebody and help them move forward when I could help my own family and build together. And onto the house, you built this nice outdoor area as well? Yeah, we really wanted to tie it in with the house so it didn't look like an eyesore. Um, it's made it a lot more livable. We can have friends over in the afternoon sort of thing, have drinks. It just makes it more comfortable. And what size is the tiny house? So this is 2.4 by 7 metres. It fits really nicely in our spot we have. We have a bit of a counter lever at the end, yep. um, but we've supported it and yeah, it's nestled right in here very well. Definitely. And middle exterior? We went with a Colourbond mat. I just thought it looked the nicest, cleanest. It's really easy to maintain. And with the afternoon Australian sun here, it is really brutal. So it we needed brutal. that um, safety as much as we could. And then to match, you've got these really exquisite reclaimed timber doors. Yeah, these are a marketplace special. So these are one of the first things we bought. They've been taken a lot of sun. There's been a lot of work on them, but they coming up beautiful. They've got a bit more of a rustic look now, yeah. um, but it's really starting to tie in. Yeah, I really like it. And especially when you've got the sort of quite clean middle exterior, it adds a lot of texture and interest to the home, Yeah, the contrast it? is beautiful. Yeah. Well, you have done such a fantastic job on the exterior of this house, and I cannot wait to see what you've done inside. Can we check it out? Sounds good to me. All right. This is absolutely stunning. I love how clean and simple you've kept this home, yet it's just so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I, everything in here has value to me and I'm happy with that.
The colors in here are gorgeous as well. It's very light and bright and yet you've got these wonderful pops of color everywhere too. Living so close to the beach, I really wanted to keep it light and bright in summer. It's really nice and I didn't want to feel like a little cave. Some yeah. people um, love their bits every I, I love the looks of it, but for me personally, I like clean, simple, and it's less things to clean. Very comfy looking lounge here. Yeah, that was a huge thing for me. I love watching my TV and uh, editing on my laptop, so I really wanted to be able to have enough room to get comfortable. So it's really nice space for me to hang out and relax. Yeah, because you're a photographer, right? So you've got to have space for the photo editing. Yes, that's correct. I want to be comfortable. I'm spending hours on the screen. So yeah, it's really, really crucial for me to have that area. And it's a really deep couch as well, so it does look extra comfortable. Yeah, it's beautiful. I went for a deep lounge so I could have space for all my clothes I really because I've got a lot of clothes <laughs> as I do so I needed that space for all my clothes and bits and pieces that I couldn't fit anywhere else yeah because it looks like a custom built couch for the space but this is modified from a store-bought one yes it is a store-bought lounge and we've modified and made up the bottom drawers it was wasted space if we didn't do it so yeah. we really needed to utilize everything so you just chopped the legs off it did you well, yeah, we'll screw on legs, just screwed them off, put the box under and happy days. It's a great way of doing it because you get the best of both worlds. You get the storage and you actually get a comfortable couch. Exactly. It's functional and looks beautiful. Yeah. Good size TV in the space too. Yeah, I love watching my TV. So it was sort of crucial for me to have a nice TV. <laughs> Definitely. Tidy unit underneath it as well. Yeah, it's a very nice little TV unit I got. I store all my little bits and pieces in there or my remotes and things like that. And you've got the air conditioning here too as well. Obviously here in Australia, that's an essential. Yeah, it was muchly needed in here. It was on my list of things to have. Good amount of head height here as well. You really get a sense of spaciousness. Yeah, I really wanted it open. I was going to put a loft up there, but I would like the openness of it. So I thought a nice pendant would just sit beautifully. Yeah, the pendant light is a really nice feature in here. And then you've got a really nice sized kitchen in here as well. Yeah, I really love to cook, so I needed the space. <laughs> I especially like the concrete look bench top that you've got in here. Yeah, the contrast with the um, tiles, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's very easy to maintain and it always looks clean. This isn't concrete though, is it? No, this is lemonade. I really wanted to do concrete, but the weight just wasn't doable. So the next best thing was a lemonade. Yeah, this is a very nice compromise. Get the look, but don't have the weight. Exactly. Nice coffee machine too. I love my coffee. I, it was a prize I had to have. Absolutely. And I really like the way that you've done this whole kitchen. It's very tidy, it's very minimal, and yet looks really functional. It functions everything I need. I've got a full size oven, I've got my stove top, I've got all the drawers and cupboard space I need. So everything I need in here and it's all hidden, which is amazing. So when people come through, it always looks clean. It certainly does. And good size fridge as well? Yep, that was one thing I didn't want to budge on, not having a full size fridge. I do like to eat, <laughs> so I needed that space. So. I wasn't just doing weekly shops. I could do two weeks in advance and have everything stored. Great. And you and me both there. Food, <laughs> food's the most important part of the day. I feel this tummy somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like the way that you've done the cabinetry up here as well. It's sort of keeping it all white. It makes it very subtle, but again, gives you a tremendous amount of storage. Yes, yeah, so I really didn't want any handles on. I really wanted it low key so I could easily just open them without having any issues or any protrusion to hit your head or anything like that. Yeah, very nice. And I really like what you've done with the colored tiles in here as well. Again, it just adds that little bit of interest. Yeah, I really wanted to tie it in that blue with all the rattan and make it really beachy vibe. Yeah, it certainly does that. And then over the bench, you've got this really nice window as well. Yeah, it makes it really good for indoor outdoor living. So when we've got friends over, I can just hand a drink through. It's really nice in the afternoon with the breeze coming through. It cools it down, don't need the air con. So it's absolutely beautiful to have that sea breeze. And then over the other side, you've built a lot of storage into these stairs, haven't you? Yeah, I really wanted to hide all my storage. So it's amazing, especially with all my camera gear. I needed a space that it was nice, tucked away. No one could see it. Um, all my shoes and all my pantry. So. It's really nice to have everything hidden, but at the same time, I've got stacks of storage. And it's really nice what you've done with the cane on the cupboard doors as well. Yeah, I really wanted to keep it nice and modern and fresh. So it was really nice to be able to hide everything, yet keeping it look nice and minimal. Yeah, definitely. It adds like a nice kind of organic texture to the house as well. It's yeah. really beautifully offset against all of the white. Yeah, just so it's not so clinical in here, it was because everything's so white, I really wanted to add some color and texture. And I thought it was a beautiful way of incorporating it. And especially for a tiny house as well, it's also a really nice lightweight solution too. Yes, it was beautiful. We lost a lot of weight doing that, so. Very clever. And through there, we've got your bathroom. Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's go. 
Oh, again, this is a really nice room in here. I really like the way that you've added the mirror there as well with the round and the timber. It just kind of offsets again against all of the white in here. Yeah, I really want to be one of the main focus. Adding the timber in the bathroom was a key element I really wanted in here. It freshened it up. It made it just a really nice beachy vibe. Definitely. And the plants a nice touch. Yeah, I'm not much of a gardener, so these fake plants are what I need. <laughs> oh, you can't admit they're fake. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Great size shower. Yes, that was one thing I wasn't budging on. I wanted to be comfortable when I have a shower. I didn't want to be all crammed up. I wanted that space so I can actually wash myself. And having a new pup, it's a really good little space to be able to wash him. Oh, you've got a puppy? Yeah, I have a little puppy Milo. Oh, that's so nice. And what kind of puppy is he? Uh, he's a beagle. Oh, cute. And you've got a flushing toilet in here as well. That's a bit of luxury. Yeah, it is quite the luxury. I love my uh, flushing toilet. A lot, Each their own. A lot of people want compost. For me, it just worked. We're on septic tents here and it was easy to dispose of it. Yeah, definitely. And a bit of extra storage in here as well. Yeah, we decided to hide a little linen cupboard in there just to have all our bits and pieces in there, all our bed sheets and toilet paper and things like that. Excellent. And then upstairs we've got your sleeping loft. That's correct. Can we take a look? Let's do it. After you. Oh, this is pretty plush up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite comfortable and cozy up here. You've even got the TV up here. Yeah, I love a good TV. Uh, it's really nice at night to come back and relax and kick back. It's almost like you've got your own personal private cinema up here. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And I see you've built in a bit of extra storage up here as well. Yeah, I've got my drawers for all my extra clothes and I've got hanging space as well for all my jackets and things like that. Very nice. And the record player up here too. Yeah, I love my music. Very nice addition. I really like how you have treated this like another room in the house. This isn't just a place where you come to sleep. There's actually quite a lot going on up here. Yeah, well, we spend 50% of our life in our bed, so I really wanted a comfy space that I could come home to and relax and just feel me. I made sure I had enough head height because I am short. Yeah, I can stand, unlike you. <laughs> yeah, I can't quite get there myself, but it is awesome that you're able to stand up here. That really makes all the difference. Yeah, the comfort. It? I didn't never wanted to get out of bed and just bump my head. I wanted to make sure I was comfortable and everything was easy. I can see that you have really thought this space out so well. Like here in the headboard, you've even got the USBs built in. Yeah, I wanted it really comfortable and easy just to chuck your phone on on charge and just jump straight to sleep. That really is very clever. Thank you. So how long have you been living in the home now? So it's been just on two years. Very cool. And how are you finding tiny house life? Absolutely loving it. There's so much free time now. Um, it's amazing. I've got everything I need. I don't need anything more really. So yeah. it's amazing to just come home, sit down and look around and everything here is what I own. And not only what you own, but what you've built yourself, which is really special, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful to sit down in the afternoon and just reflect on it all. It's amazing that I use my bare hands to build this. You must have a tremendous sense of pride in this home. Yeah, it's, it's such an amazing feeling to know that I've built this. And I would look around all the time at it and just go, wow, I remember just that memory of putting that board on or fixing that tile. It was just, yeah, it was amazing. And especially doing this together with your dad, there's a lot of love that's been built into this house as well. Yeah, it was such a beautiful project to do together. And he, he loves it and he loves seeing my smile every time. He comes up, he'll look around and go, you remember when we did that? And it was amazing. Tiny House Living's taught me a lot. I used to be a bit of a hoarder. I used to love collecting bits and pieces and going tiny has made me realise you don't need those things anymore. When your life's over, you're not taking that stuff with you. You're taking your experiences with you. Living tiny's allowed me to focus on all the little things that matter. And that's family, friends, and my happiness. And with this home, obviously the labour is all of your hard work. Can we talk about the cost that was involved in bringing this home to life? Yeah, of course. So, as I said, paycheck to paycheck, um, I, as I could afford it, I did it. And in the end, it worked out about $28,000, everything. That's lounges, beds, TVs, all the materials. $28,000, that is a really remarkable price though. How did you actually accomplish a build for that budget? Well, I'm fortunate enough that my dad is a carpenter, so he had all the tools, so for me, that worked really well. I networked and a lot of people helped me out, um, which was really good in exchange for photos. Definitely, that's a great way of doing it. People forget that there is actually still a barter economy out there. Yeah, so you don't need to just have a sheep these days and go, this is my bartering. For me, it worked very well and the clients were happy and I'm happy. So now the home is all finished, what's next? 
Good question. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm living day by day and I'll see where I'm at. I'd love to have a family home one day, but this right now I'm quite comfortable and happy. Well, Jai, you really have built yourself the most amazing home here. You really deserve to be incredibly proud of what you've accomplished here. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. Cheers for coming out. Great to be here. There is a lot of love that's been built into the walls of this home. Jai and his father have done the most remarkable job of constructing a place that's as beautiful as it is functional and all for a mind-blowing budget. Jai has now got this incredibly wonderful start to life, a place that connects him with friends, with family, and allows him to do a job that he loves. This really is an incredibly special place.